Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Mackenzie and I'm a homeschooling mom to four kids. And today I'm going to show you all of the picture books and the baby books and a chapter book that we're reading. So I'm gonna show you all of our Christmas books. These are books that have been in our family for either a long time or that we just acquired this year. I'm gonna share with you the books that we just love and cherish and are looking forward to reading year after year. So if that interests you, go ahead and stick around and I will show you our Christmas books. So I love collecting books for the holidays and not just Christmas, but especially Christmas. And so we're gonna start with our baby books. I have two baby books to show you. And these are books that we've had for a few years now. Um, this one has been one that has gone through multiple children and it is called The Very Hungry Caterpillars Christmas 123. And this is a book that is counting, but you're counting Christmas things. So like one Santa, two Christmas trees and so on. So it's just very simple and um, it's a short book, which is good for little wiggly children, which I have a very wiggly child right now. And this is just a fun book for us to read together. And it has been a hit in our house and we've had this one over and we've had this one for several years now. The next baby board book is kind of a fun spinoff of the How the Grinch Stole Christmas and it is called I Am Max. So this is Max um, take on the story of How the Grinch Grinch Stole Christmas and it also goes into his daily activities with the Grinch and what it's like having the Grinch as his master. So this is just kind of a fun silly story. I would say this one has a little bit more words on the page so I would probably gear this more towards ages maybe three to seven. Okay so now on to picture books that we have had in our house for a few years now. I would say these books are geared towards like younger elementary, and they're just really fun, lighthearted books. The first one is Sugar, White, Snow, and Evergreens, A Winter Wonderland of Color. So this one is fun. It talks about colors through each page. So like, here's an example of a page of yellow, but it's about these children that go on a journey to find sap and how to make pure maple syrup with the sap. So I like that it's an educational book as well as a wintry book. It's not specific to Christmas, but it is a winter book and they're going out in winter time to make pure maple syrup. So I like that it's educational and a little bit festive. So this book is kind of more of a, I wouldn't say classic because it's not a classic book, but it's just one of those books that I'm sure you read when you were a child or books like it because they have these books for about every holiday, I would say. But the next book is Merry Christmas, Curious George. And this one is about George picking out a Christmas tree with the man in the yellow hat. And George, of course, being the rebellious monkey that he is, he, leave, he leaves, I was gonna say leaves. He leaves the man with the yellow hat and he goes and finds the perfect Christmas tree. And of course, being a monkey, he climbs the tree and somebody else picks the tree chops it down and takes it to a hospital. So he ends up at a hospital and throughout the book, you just get to see how George puts smiles on all the kids' faces in the hospital and how the man in the yellow hat comes to find him. So this is a fun, cute story that our kids love. This next book is also a book that you have probably read similar to, cause it's a series of a bunch of different books that are, you know, the same title, but this one's really fun. If you take a mouse to the movies, so, of course, if you've read these books before, you know that um, the mouse starts off doing an activity, which reminds him of a different activity, which reminds him of, of a different activity, and in the end, it circles around back to the first activity that he started at. And this one is all, sorry about the glare, but this is all about Christmas activities, and it's just really festive and fun. This next one is really good for young boys. It is called Bow Dozer's Christmas Dig. My five-year-old, I would say this is his second favorite Christmas book. He is just a big boy. He loves, um, you know, like construction things and cars and stuff like that. So this one is really fun for him. This is about Bulldozer who goes through the junkyard and finds random things that he wants to bring in some Christmas cheer and Christmas joy. So he grabs all these things and he starts making a Christmas tree out of it. And so it's a very cute story. And this is one that we have 
had in our house for a few years that my little boy just loves. This is a story that we have all heard before and this is just a fun one that my kids love to read year after year and it is Frosty the Snowman. We all know this story and I just love those stories that are just passed down through the generations that you know each generation just loves and so this is one of those stories that my kids also ask for every year and they get so excited when this comes out of the box. Okay, this next story is very near and dear to my heart because this is one that my mom always had in the Christmas box. My mom was not a very big reader to us, but this is one book that we had at Christmas time that I always remember um, just being pulled out of that Christmas box and being excited. And it was one of those staples that I saw every year and my mom would read this to me. And so she gave this one to me. It is the story of Christmas and it's a nativity story. So this is one that my kids really like and they get excited when I pull this out too, which makes me really happy because it just brings back childhood memories. I mean, this was written in, I think it was 93. So yeah, back when I was a kid, this was just a really fun story. And of course you always gotta have a nativity story to read at Christmas time. So this is one that we will definitely be reading for years to come. Okay, so this one's really fun. We have been reading this every day. Um, for the month of December because it's a really long book, but this is our um, Christmas unit study. So we've been doing this in the morning time when we are doing our homeschooling and it is how Winston delivered Christmas. It comes with activities and stuff to do every day. So if you would like to know more about this book, go ahead and watch the video down below. I did a whole video on our Christmas study and we have been doing this for a couple years now and my kids always get really happy when I bring this out during morning time. So I love how it has like hands-on things to do along with the story. Okay, so now I'm gonna show you some books that we have just recently gotten, not this year, but last year. So they're not ones that have been in our family for a long time, but ones that we have, this is our second year using them and my kids have really enjoyed them. And so the first one is The Christmas Crocodile. So this is just a really silly book about a crocodile that is pretty much destroying Christmas in a family's home, but it's just silly to see the ways that the family tries to deal with this problem of the crocodile. And so this one's just fun and lighthearted and my kids always laugh when we pull this out and they think it's so funny. So you always gotta have like a lighthearted, funny Christmas story also. And I have never read a Christmas book that is like this before. So it's kind of fun to have one that's kind of unique and this was definitely that. Okay, so I feel like this one is just a Christmas classic. Every family has to have this book, I feel like. But it is The Polar Express. And so this one is actually my son's number one favorite because of course he likes dump trucks and um, excavation and bulldozers and things like that. But he also loves trains a lot. And we have a little train that goes around our Christmas tree. And so he calls that The Polar Express. And this is just a sweet story about a boy who is still holding on to his hopes that, or that Santa Claus is real. And so as he's dreaming, he hears a train pull up and he goes on the train. The train takes him to the North Pole and he finds out that Santa is indeed real. And then he wakes up on Christmas morning in his normal bed. So this is a fun read and I just love how this one kind of keeps the magic of Christmas. Okay, so now I'm going on to books that are completely new this year that I bought for this year's Christmas. And the first one is The Year of the Perfect Christmas Tree. And I want to acquire more books like this that, I mean, I have a lot of like fun, lighthearted ones, which I think are really good. But I also, you know, during Christmas time, you want one that kind of teaches the importance of relationships and just more heartwarming stories. And this is definitely that. It's about this girl who goes and picks out the perfect tree with her dad. And then her dad gets drafted into war and he, he writes a letter saying that he will be home during Christmas time. And so uh, as the season goes by, everybody's dads are coming home and her dad is not home yet. And so this is just a really sweet story. I won't give away the ending, but it's very sweet and I just love stories like that. So this is definitely one that I look forward to reading year after year with my kids. All right, this next one is also one that definitely puts an emphasis on relationships and just one of those really good, feel good Christmas books. So this is one that I am also really excited to 
um, read year after year, The Christmas Miracle of Jonathan Toomey. And this one is about this man who kind of keeps to himself and then he finds joy through service and relationships by helping those around him. And so I love this book and will definitely read this year after year as well. I feel like I'm going to gravitate more towards these books than the lighthearted fun ones and probably the kids will love the other lighthearted fun ones, but I think as they get older and kind of understand more, these will hold a special place in their heart. So I have heard of these books for a long time and they have a Christmas one, which I'm so glad about. And my kids have loved this book so much. It is the orca or the story orchestra, the Nutcracker. And the story o orchestra has lots of different books. They have like four seasons and just all these different um, books with songs in them, like classical um, music. And so we got the Nutcracker for this year and it has been just a big hit in my house. The kids have loved it so much. Um, it has these little buttons that you can push. Let's see if it'll work right. Oh, there we go. So it plays the music from the Nutcracker. And so this book has been really good because my girls actually are really big into Ariel Silk and they've been doing Ariel Silk. And this year they did their performance to the Sugar Plum Fairies and they didn't know what that was, but then we got this book and as they were reading it, they were like, oh my gosh, that's the song that we're doing our Ariel Silk to. So I just love, um, I really want to instill a love of classical music and just cultured music in my children, not just pop culture. So I feel like um, these books will really help to bring it alive to them because they'll be able to see it with a story. So I was really excited and happy to find this book and happy to see my, that my kids are really enjoying this book. Okay, so the last thing I wanna show you is our chapter book read aloud that we started at the beginning of December. And we have not finished this book. We're still reading through it and we haven't read this one before. So it's a new one, but it has been so good so far. All of my kids love it. Even the ones that have a hard time sitting and listening, this has been a hit in our house. And it is called The Very, Very Far North. And we picked up this book because we are following along with Brave Writers Literature Unit Studies, their darts. And this has been just such a good book. So we have really enjoyed it. It's about a polar bear living, obviously, in the very, very far north. We don't really know where that is, but it is somewhere very, very far north. And so it's not specifically Christmas related, but it is um, like winter. It takes place in a winter wonderland. So it is festive in that way. And it has been really fun in our family to read this book together. Okay, so that is all the books that I have for our Christmas time. If there are any books that you have that you love that you feel are heartwarming, which I said I'm trying to accumulate more of those books, if you have any that you just love, um, go ahead and comment below and let me know because I would love to collect more that are that fit more that theme. So thank you so much for sticking around and hanging out with me today. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and subscribe and I will see you next time.